What's up guys, Jason here. In this video I'm going to be showing you three rare item farms in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. These farms work on 1.17 and on all recent versions of Minecraft Bedrock whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, Playstation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. By the way, the link to my tutorial for each of the farms I show in this video will be in the description. This first rare item farm I'm going to be showing you all is a music disc farm. As you guys can see here, this farm will give you any music disc except for Pigstep. By the way, music discs can be put into jukeboxes to play music. This is the music disc farm. In this part of the farm, there's a skeleton trapped in that chamber. By the way, the skeleton has been named with a name tag so that it never despawns. That skeleton will kill creepers in this farm. This is the creeper chamber. At the top of the creeper chamber, there is this trapdoor which will cause creepers to walk into that chamber. That is because creepers see trapdoors as full blocks. At the bottom of that spot, there is a hopper and collections chest which will collect all the loot in this farm. Finally, this part of the farm over here is where you'll stand. By standing over here in survival, the skeleton will shoot at you and instead hit the creeper because the creeper chamber is in front of you. Whenever a creeper gets killed by a skeleton, it will drop a music disc, then that music disc will get funneled into the collections chest. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use this farm, first wait for it to be nighttime. After it's nighttime, try to look for some creepers in the nearby area. Once you have found some creepers, slowly walk over towards your farm. Make sure you guys don't get too close, otherwise the creep will explode. Once you're up at the farm, walk up the staircase, then walk over here. As you guys can see there, the creeper should walk right into that chamber. Once you have one creeper in there, you guys can get more. Each creeper that you get in there will get you one music disc. By the way, whenever you guys are luring another creeper into the chamber, make sure you go over the chamber pretty quickly, otherwise the creepers in the chamber might explode. If a creeper ever appears to walk over, just try to punch it in. Once you guys have the amount of creepers you want in your creeper chamber, come down here, then open this door. Now stand at this spot. As you guys can see there, the skeleton will then begin shooting at the creepers. It may take a little while for the skeleton to kill the creepers, however, they will all eventually die. Once all the creepers have been killed, close this trap door so the skeleton cannot shoot you. Now you guys can come out here, and all your loot will be in this collection's chest. As you guys can see there, I got three music discs. If you guys ever want to get more music discs, you guys can just repeat that process of getting creepers over to that chamber. This next farm I'm going to be showing you all is a mob head farm. This farm can be used to get zombie heads, creeper heads, and skeleton skulls. By the way, you guys can wear each of those items. In this farm, there are two chambers. This chamber over here is for creating charged creepers. Creepers can be easily lured to that spot because of this staircase. This chamber over here is for skeletons, creepers, and zombies. Those mobs can be easily lured to that spot because there's a minecart rail system over here. Whenever a charged creeper is ignited, it will kill all the mobs in that spot, causing them to drop mob heads down into this collection system. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, first wait for it to start thunderstorming. You guys can tell it is thunderstorming because it will be raining and the clouds will be dark. If you guys are in a bomb that does not rain, the clouds will just be dark. After it is thunderstorming, try to lure a creeper over to that chamber. Whenever you guys are learning a creeper, try not to get too close so that it does not explode. Once you're at the farm, come up, make sure it follows you, then come over here, now crouch down. As you guys can see there, the creeper should walk right into that chamber. If it doesn't, you guys might need to punch it. After a creeper is in that chamber, break this trap door. Now take a trident that is enchanted with channeling 1 and throw it at the creeper. If the creeper does not get struck by lightning, take the trident and throw it at the creeper again. As you guys can see there, that should cause the creeper to become a charged creeper. If you guys are in a bomb that does not rain so your creeper catches on fire, you guys can use water to put out the fire. After you guys have your creeper in that chamber, try to lure a skeleton, zombie, or creeper into this other chamber. Make sure you guys stay within about 30 blocks of this farm so that the charged creeper does not despawn. To lure a mob over, just get near it, then slowly walk over to the farm. Once you're near the farm, place a minecart at this spot. Then, try to lure them up over to the minecart. After the mob is in there, push it up. Once the mob is in there, break the minecart. 
Then you guys can pick it up down here in this collection chest. Each mob that you lure in there will give you one mob head. If you guys want to lure another mob into that chamber, place a block over here and a block at this spot. Now, take another mob over. Once you're near, place a minecart at this spot, then try to get it to walk into the minecart. By the way, whenever you guys try to push a creeper up to that spot, make sure you push it really fast and run away so that it does not explode. Once the mob is in there, break these two blocks. Then break the minecart. You guys can repeat that process to get as many mobs in there as you want. Whenever you guys have the amount of mobs you want in that chamber, ignite the charged creep with flint steel. As you guys can see there, that will kill all those mobs, then the other mob heads will get dropped into this collection's chest. To use this farm again, all you guys need to do is replace this trap door, then repeat that entire process. This next rare item farm I'm going to be showing you all is a bedrock farm. This farm will allow you to obtain bedrock blocks in survival mode. In this farm, the end portal is filled with end crystals. That causes the end portal to be put into regeneration mode. In this capsule, there's a snow golem. That snow golem causes snow to be constantly generated at that spot. Whenever the end portal regenerates, this observer will detect the change in snow. That will cause a redstone signal to be sent down to this redstone system. That piston constantly deletes the bedrock block that is generated above it, and this piston over here constantly pushes endstone over to that spot. To obtain the bedrock, all you guys need to do is come down here, then stand at this spot and mine at that bedrock using a diamond pickaxe. This water and piston system will time it perfectly so that you break this endstone at the right time, right as bedrock is regenerated. That will allow you to have the chance to obtain bedrock. That bedrock will then be collected by that hopper and funneled into this collection's chest. I am now going to show you all how to use this farm. To use it, first come in here, then make sure this lever is flipped up so the farm is turned on. Now hold a diamond pickaxe, then come over to the spot. Once you're in here, aim your crosshair at the middle of the bedrock block. Now hold down whatever button it is in your device to break blocks. As you guys can see here, the piston system will cause you to break the endstone right as bedrock is regenerated. Every time you guys break that endstone, there's a chance for you to get a bedrock block. As you guys can see there, I was able to obtain a bedrock block. Whenever you guys want to stop using this farm, all you need to do is stop mining, then fix the lever down to shut it off. This chest will have all of your bedrock. Once again, the link to my tutorial for each of the farms I showed in this video will be in the description. I hope y'all enjoyed seeing these three rare item farms in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every other day. Thanks for watching!